how to access these services. The next couple slides are, are really important slides. So anyone can make a, a referral for these services. If you're a parent and you think your child needs more support, you, you can refer your own family to potentially get a recommendation for these new services. Again, anybody can really make that referral to services, but a recommendation is what's needed to receive the services. So after the referral, we need the recommendation. The recommendation is the key to access. To get a recommendation, a licensed practitioner needs to identify and document that these services um, and their components are needed. They have to determine if they're medically necessary, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a moment. So this recommendation is what stands between a family and accessing these services. So there are specific people who can make these recommendations for these new services. If you see here, we've just explained a little bit about medical necessity, which is what needs to be determined in order for there to be a recommendation for these services. In order for family needs to access them, there needs to be deemed medical necessity, which there's some jargon on the slide about what that medical, medical necessity means. There's also a link here. Um, each new state plan service will have specific guidelines. So the medical necessity for each new service might be slightly different depending on the service you're trying to seek. Um, I don't want to overcomplicate things for families and their youth. You can click on this link and find out specifically what that medical necessity is going to be. Um, we're going to focus more so on getting families um, and their youth to get this recommendation to an OLP, somebody who's qualified to make the recommendation and find out if medical necessity is met and then into the service. So this is what an example of medical necessity that you could bring with you to a, an appointment, a doctor's appointment, a meeting with your licensed practitioner who we'll talk about momentarily. Um, it looks something like this, but really the, the point of the, this form is to help the licensed practitioner to find out if they meet medical necessity for specific services. Think of it as a script. You could go to a doctor's office, you could go to a list of OLPs and other licensed um, practitioners to find out if your child, your family member, might be eligible to receive certain types of support that are now covered under these new services. And we'll talk a bit more about the, the list of those licensed providers and what these new services actually are. But here is a link on the slide that'll bring you to an example that was provided to you by the state. Um, if you wanted to print this out and bring it with you to an appointment, you could, but it also, uh, the proof of medical necessity could be written down on a doctor's script pad. It could be really simple. We just need to make sure that the right license provider is checking to see if the criteria is met for medical necessity for the specific service, and then you can use that to receive the service. 